Today in PA is sponsored by Renewal by Anderson of Central Pennsylvania. This leap month, leap into all the offers that Renewal by Anderson of Central Pennsylvania has. Like their buy one, get one window or door for 40% off. And another 200 bucks off your patio door project. That's at nothing down, no payments, and no interest for a whole year. Drop a line to 717-727-7558 or visit rbacentralpa.com slash deals for more information now. Some signatures on a state auditor general candidate's petition have aroused suspicion. Also, some people may see their water bills go up by $265 a year. This proposal would give voters power over warehouse construction. Lastly, he said nay a word when authorities reined him in. I'm Claudia DeMiro, and you're listening to Today in PA. In Pennsylvania, someone looking to run for both local or state offices must file nominating petitions, reports the Daily Local. For Auditor General, the position that Lehigh County Controller Mark Pinsley is seeking the Democratic nomination for, at least a thousand signatures need to be collected, with a hundred from five counties minimum. But a few people noticed something funky going on with the signatures for Pinsley's petition, mainly that they're sure they didn't sign it at all. In the words of one official who noted this, Judge Alita Revito of Chester County Common Pleas Court, quote, I didn't sign it. Now, multiple signatures, including at least 16 that belong to quote-unquote voters, are suspected of being forged on the petition, with Revito claiming that, quote, every signature looks the same. Pinsley's campaign manager, Mario Martin, responded via email to these allegations, quote, We are further investigating at this time and looking into how we can discard those petitions if it is found that they do not meet the requirements. Last month, the U.S. Environmental Protection Agency proposed a rule to increase a clean water standard in the Delaware River, reports the Philadelphia Inquirer. And the Philadelphia Water Department, which draws water from the Schuylkill and Delaware Rivers, meaning they clean it by EPA standards, is saying that it would cost $3 billion to comply with it, something that its customers would have to bear the burden of. In fact, in a statement issued over the weekend, PWD estimates that customers' water bills wouldn't be the extra buck fifty a month as calculated by the EPA, but $22.17, meaning an extra $265 a year. Leader of the Delaware Riverkeeper Network, Maya Von Rosam, claims in response that, quote, PWD is trying to evade their responsibilities to address the pollution they are dumping into our river that is inflicting extreme harm. This proposal would give Pennsylvania residents more of a say in warehouse development, states the York Daily Record. Brought forward by Representative Joe Emrick, this bill, which would actually amend the state municipality's planning code, would require a voter referendum on any warehouse or distribution center that's a development of regional significance, at least 100,000 square feet in size, and on three acres of land or more. Says Emrick via statement, quote, While high-impact warehouses and distribution centers are approved by local governments, the people who are most affected, the community, have no say in whether they should become a part of the fabric of our region. The proposal is still in its early stages. If you were driving on I-95 in Philadelphia early Tuesday morning, then yes, that was a horse you saw, confirms Penn Live. A horse was seen galloping near the Girard Avenue exit, politely sticking to one lane, impressively, right before rush hour. He was eventually reined in by state police at about 7 a.m., saying nay a word after getting apprehended. He was eventually picked up by an employee of the Fleet Street Riding Club where he lives, although the employee did admit to reporters, quote, I have no idea how he got loose. A horse walks into a bar. Hey, says the barman. Yes, please, says the horse. That wraps up today's episode. For more news, check out penlive.com. And please remember to rate this podcast wherever you may listen to podcasts and to share it around with your family and friends. Thanks in advance. And as always, thanks for listening. I'm Claudia DeMiro, and tomorrow's another episode of Today in PA. Today in PA is sponsored by Renewal by Anderson of Central Pennsylvania. This leap month, leap into all the offers that Renewal by Anderson of Central Pennsylvania has. Like their buy one, get one window or door for 40% off, and another 200 bucks off your patio door project. 
That's at nothing down, no payments, and no interest for a whole year. Drop a line to 717-727-7558 or visit rbacentralpa.com deals for more information now.